Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Medical Meaning. Today is the very first video on anatomy. So let's get started. Basically, anatomy is the science of structures of living organism. So when it comes to human anatomy, it becomes science that deal with structure of human body. There are two types of anatomy. First one is gross or macroscopic anatomy. Second is the microscopic anatomy. Gross or macroscopic anatomy as the name suggests, deals with the thing that can be viewed by unaided eye. Whereas, microscopic anatomy is a study of structure on the cellular level. There are in turn three fields of study within gross anatomy. The first one is surface anatomy. Surface anatomy deals with the study of external anatomical forms and markings. The second is regional anatomy that focuses on certain region of body that be internal and external. The third is the systematic anatomy that focuses on particular organ system. Within microscopic anatomy, there are two topics of study which are of great importance. First is cytology meaning study of cell and second is histology meaning study of tissue. Now let's study different type of positions. For positional terminologies to make sense, a standard anatomical position has been established. The first is anatomical position. When a person is standing straight with eyes looking forward, both the arms are by the side of body, palm facing forward and both the feet together. Such position is the anatomical position. The second position is supine position. When a person is lying on his or her back, arms by side, palm facing upward and feet put together, such position is called as supine position. The third is prone position. Person lying on his or her face, chest and abdomen such position is called as prone position the fourth is lithothomy position person lying on her back with legs up and feet supported by straps such position is called as lithothomy position and are used mostly while delivering of baby now let's study the planes in which the body is divided the first come maiden or mid sagittal plane when a vertical imaginary line divides the body into equal right and left half, such plane is called mid sagittal plane. Consider this box as body. If I cut this box into two equal parts, then such plane division is called as mid sagittal or median plane. Similar thing happens with the body as shown in the figure. The second comes the sagittal plane. When a vertical imaginary plane divides the body into two parts that are unequal, or we can say an imaginary plane, parallel to the median or mid sagittal plane dividing the body into unequal half is the sagittal plane. Consider the same box as a body. This time I will not cut the box from the center but I will shift the cutting point to the right. Then it will divide the box into unequal half. Such cutting of plane would be called as sagittal plane. The third comes the coronal plane. A plane at the right angle to median or mid sagittal plane Dividing the body into anterior and posterior part. Suppose this 3D box as in body. If I make a cut such that this box will be divided into the front part that is anterior and a back part that is posterior, then such division of plane is called as coronal plane. The fourth comes the transverse plane. A plane at right angle to both sagittal and coronal plane dividing the body into inferior and superior parts. Suppose this box as in body. If I make a cut that will divide the box into upper that is superior and lower that is inferior part, then such division of plane would be called as transverse plane. So this was all about the first video on anatomy. Hit the like button if you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram at the rate medical meaning.